Well, man, that was loud. Guys, uh, it's been another, another really, 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 really here at the Muddy Paws Ranch. It's uh, just going on sunset again. And uh, I guess it's about time for me to wrap it up. I'm kind of at a stopping point. But uh, so today, today has been, been uh, a day of milestones, I suppose. The hair still looking good, I can tell. Uh, well, let's, let's review what we did. Uh, I actually have the uh, front door. Well, for now it's a front door. The real front door is going to be somewhere up here in the middle. But this is going to be our main entry for the time being. I got the, uh, this all framed in and uh, the sliding door in, the top closed up. I haven't closed up the side yet, just trying to leave that for a little ventilation. Uh, but the door's in and uh, I'm pretty darn proud of that. That was uh, one of those tasks that I've never taken on before. Framing a door is one thing in a home. Framing a brand new sliding door where, you know, making sure it slides okay and the, the openings are nice and square. Honest to goodness, I had to tear that out and uh, rebuild it at three times. I did it once last night, came back in this morning and found another part of it that I didn't like. And uh, I ended up tearing it all back out and re-squaring it today. Built it up. I've got four two by fours on each side, bolted in, hooked together to the steel frame. So I feel pretty, pretty solid about that. And uh, got it all uh, sealed in and, and uh, got the uh, water seal uh, tape at the bottom and uh, rollers adjusted. I'm feeling pretty darn proud. It was one of the tougher things I've taken on, but moving on. I think I told you yesterday the floors are all done. Uh, so today, uh, after that, I kind of laid everything out. I'll go over that with you. Some of the plumbing. Tomorrow is plumbing and electrical day. As you can see, I've kind of already uh, gone through all the studs and put my uh, rubber inserts, plastic inserts in there so I can run uh, my, my plumbing and uh, my PEX. It's called PEX, P-E-X. It's really inexpensive to use and you conveniently you have blue for cold and red for hot so uh, but just just to kind of give you an idea of what we're doing tomorrow this mini split is here so I'm going to hang it I'm going to go ahead and put one piece of four by four uh, four by eight sanded plywood paint ready plywood at the top after I fill in I'm putting in an additional R13 um, uh, roll out insulation so I'll be a total of R19 yeah it was R6 plus 13 now, so I'll be R19 on all the walls but I'll roll in uh, insulation on the back wall tomorrow I'll put in the top since this is nine and a half feet I'll put in the top four feet uh, wood plank tomorrow so I can mount the mini split it's sitting outside I'll show you in a minute once that's done uh, I will in theory have an enclosed environment that I can Heat and cool. That's pretty sweet. And the door actually has a key and lock on it. So it's almost be considered a domicile at that point, right? But again, uh, the way I've engineered this or designed it, all electric and all water is going to be along this wall. So when you come to the bedroom, we'll actually have laid it out, uh, marked it out. Bedroom will come to here. So this will be the bedroom area. It's nine foot eight inches. There will be a secondary door over here I haven't laid out, leaving the bedroom. But uh, just continuing on this base, we come this way. I've laid it out on the floor, bedroom. There's going to be a four inch wall here. So I'll string up another stud here tomorrow uh, for a two foot, 24 inch pony wall. Not a pony wall, it's a full wall, but it'll just come out, you know, 24 inches about where my foot is. And uh, that will signal the beginning of the bedroom going back and uh, the same over here there will be an additional identical mirror wall coming out two feet and leave about a 30 inch opening somewhere in that area 20 40 yeah somewhere in that area so four inch wall here uh, this will start the shower the shower is going to be five feet it's actually one of these manufactured 
showers that are five feet, a big one piece enclosure. So the shower will come to right here. I'll start installing the water uh, for that here tomorrow. Um, and once, uh, probably do the shower Saturday. But we'll have everything laid out. All the water will be plumbed in. Uh, I've got the two by sixes outside, so I can go ahead and string this wall here. Uh, there will be a, a, a two by four structure here, and then I'll uh, come out with two by sixes to uh, enclose the shower and uh, put the shower head up here somewhere uh, on this wall. <clears throat> and uh, all the concrete board is actually outside too. So all the materials are here. Once I get the water set in, uh, get all the water plumbing set in, um, and the drain will go in. It's going to be a left-hand drain right here, close to the wall. And then on the other side of that four-inch stud uh, will be our bathroom toilet, if you will. And that's about four feet, two inches over to that line uh, where I've drawn where the pocket door will be. So the you'll have pocket door uh, that you can open. Again, this will be all enclosed pocket door and there'll be another uh, a picture uh, another duplicate wall twin wall here uh, so you can have we'll have a 24 inch walkway so open the pocket door as you walk through there'll be a toilet uh, with a sliding glass door um, enclosing the toilet area and then once you get past that there will be a shower with a glass door and uh, on the right side, there will be a four, almost four and a half foot dual pole closet. So it won't be a little room for a lot of stuff, but enough for us, for Andrew and I. Uh, my typical wardrobe consists of t-shirts and, uh, and jeans and, you know, at work if I need to, uh, I put on something else. But uh, pretty much just uh, pants and t-shirt every day. And then uh, here will be a kind of a countertop um, uh, dressing area, makeup area that'll be about the same size as the shower area, about five feet. It will also, you know, double as potentially, you know, overflow because we've got so much space above that we could put in some, a shelf or two with some overflow above uh, for things that you use commonly. Uh, but again, once you cross this threshold right here where this wall is going to be and that right in there, uh, starting right here, I'll, tomorrow I'll frame out a 32-inch uh, steel door right here for an additional exit coming out of the bedroom. And it's got a uh, half glass, so it's a half steel door. Uh, the top half is, uh, is a low E um, heavy glass that uh, impact resistant and dual locks, deadbolt, etc. And it'll be a left hand open. It'll, I reach down, it'll have to open from the right. In other words, the, the doorknob will be here and I'll open it up towards the bed. So uh, that will be put in too. But like I said, we're getting there. We've got a little, uh, again, in the bedroom because of the height, we're a high cube. We've got nine foot ceilings. Uh, we've got a little room to put some overflow shelves above without you know, being any kind of an encumbrance um, height. Uh, the only person that might have trouble here is Derek Bumgarden. Um, because you know I'm right at six foot and I still got you know, easily three foot above me to walk under. The TV, I suspect, will go on this wall. Uh, I'm not sure yet whichever the wife wants. Uh, since the door is going to be here and the headboard there, I'm guessing the TV's there. Uh, we'll see. But it's been a really, really good day. Tomorrow's going to be a remarkable day because, I mean, all I'm doing tomorrow is plumbing, electrical, and laying out the rest of the design. Um, we'll step outside for a minute. And... Uh, all the materials are here and on site, so I'm good to go. I don't have to go buy anything. I've got all my insulation sitting here ready to go in. Uh, here's a front view uh, of the, uh, the door and the entryway. Um, we've got, uh, man, I'm just, it's, I'm, I'm beginning to wonder why people actually 
have mortgages uh, and don't do something like this. I mean, at the end of the day, with a little hard work, you can't see me at all. There we go. At the end of the day, a little hard work and certainly less than $20,000. Um, yeah, maybe not much more than half of that, really. Uh, you could build this. Um, got the outdoor AC unit for the mini split. Uh, that'll go up here sometime tomorrow. Um, so, this is uh, again the end of the afternoon. We've got plenty of lumber still left. I got two by twos, two by fours, two by threes, two by sixes, one by ones. I have quite the assortment of, of lumber. Uh, I've got enough pipe to run gray water. Uh, this is going to be the gray water coming out the bottom to it'll go out past here and uh, we'll tie in the septic uh, with black water just as soon as I can go get that. Our water actually should be turned on this week too. Thanks dad. My dad helped me uh, facilitate that. Um, that's kind of one of his housewarming gifts. He, uh, to get things turned on out here has been incredibly expensive. I mean, just electricity was, you know, approaching 10,000 to get uh, power pulled up here. To, to get water was, you know, 7,000. Uh, so those are probably the most costly things of all of this. I mean, I'm still bringing my solar out. I've got an 11 kilowatt solar array um, that we are going to mount. Uh, along that fence line where the doggy kennel is, as a matter of fact. Um, 11 kilowatts, 44 panels. So we'll extend them along that entire fence line. I'm going to actually use these posts that you see here. We're going to cut down. They were, they're put there just to basically keep hay from falling out of the stack. So uh, we're, we were going to cut them down anyway. They serve no structural support at all. So these are the big heavy duty oil field pipes and I've got you know, hundreds of feet of them. So we're going to take uh, about 12 of those and go ahead and put up our disc array uh, for solar. I'll start getting it moved out here next week. Once we have a place to stay, I've got plenty of generators. In fact, I got a 20 kilowatt natural gas or propane, as it will be out here, uh, generic generator that we've had for since the tornado in 2016. So it'll come out here and probably be our primary source of power for a week, two weeks. The power company says it could be up to four weeks before they're they're done out here. They've laid out the poles, done the engineering, but you know, I guess they're busy. So other people need power too. But the solar array will go here. We'll set it all up uh, in a solid row down this fence line, uh, facing south, due south, and uh, we'll just let it churn and. We've got two Tesla batteries we're going to have here uh, moved into a power room right around back, uh, just outside that back wall, where we're going to put uh, all of the uh, charging systems and, and the stuff from the uh, solar array and, and uh, any other electrical components we need to tie in for for when power goes out and to tie in for solar. And there will be a time sometime. I, I, it, Sometime this year, I believe, where we are completely energy independent. I don't believe we'll need power for long, but we'll keep uh, we'll keep the power here just as a backup, and uh, get the propane buried. And man, we're just you know, once you got a place to lay your head, it really doesn't matter, does it? A place to lay your head and and uh, cook dinner. Forgot to show you the front half is going to be kitchen. Uh, the whole front half, left side, is going to be all kitchen, countertop, sink, and. Uh, we're just going to do with uh, like an air oven. We don't uh, we don't see the need for a big oven and all that stuff for right now. We can cook outside if we need to, and uh, and uh, then we'll uh, we'll go from there. We'll build the real house uh, sometime this first of the year. Well, guys, I enjoy really getting to share this with you. It's, it's they're proud moments for me. But again, it makes no sense to me why why people would spend three, four, five hundred thousand dollars building a home when you you could do something like this and not have any debt and and instead spend the money on just a piece of your paradise, you know? It's kind of the way we're looking at it right now. We still own the host house in Rallet. Um, but uh, this is where our hearts at are for sure. Can't wait to get the dogs out of here. This is all for the dogs. Uh, we have uh, 
We have dreamt of doing this for the dogs for four years, over four years now. And uh, the fact that we're getting to do it is really the most important part. And uh, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait to share it. Have a great day, guys. I know uh, I have and we will. Bye.